Dana and welcome to Skip, Try, or Buy. So if you're new to my channel, just a little bit of background, um, I like to come up here and just review things that I actually purchase because I want or I need. So it may not be the trendy things that are going on, but it's stuff that I purchased, I'm trying out, and I hope that others, if these are things they're ever interested in getting, um, if they purchase them, now they have a place they can go and check out a review and get some more information about the product. So let's get into it. So the product I have for your review today is a booster seat. But wait, Dana, you don't have any kids. That's right. But I am a pet parent. So it's a pet booster seat from Pop-Tart. Let's check it out. All right. Okay, guys, it's big. So I did get the large one, as you can see here. It's kind of hard to get me and it on camera. Um, but it's pet gear. And it is a, um, here, you can see that. See, it says pet gear, and it is a car seat booster seat. So a little background on why I was interested in purchasing something like this. It's because if you've checked out our other channel, you know that my husband and I are looking at purchasing um, a tow vehicle because we want to eventually get an RV so we can spend some time traveling around the U.S. And so as part of that, I know that Pop-Tart is going to be in the car more than she's used to being. And I want her to be comfortable, but I also want her to be safe. I know if you're a pet parent, we've all gone through this where you have your dog in the car, somebody pulls out in front of you or stops short, and you have to step on the brakes harder than you're used to. You don't want your dog to go flying in the seat in front of her or fall on the floor. So I was looking for something. She has a bed, but she can still fall out of the bed on the floor. And mainly, she loves to look out of the window. So when she looks out the window, she puts her paws up on the window, and then her body is all stretched out so she can stand in this seat. Well, this is a booster seat. So what it does is it allows the dog to be propped up higher to start with, so she doesn't have to stretch out to look in the window. She could actually just sit on it and look out the window or if she does want to stand up she can just stand up normally she's not having to stretch out so the first thing let's talk about here is packaging you know i love some good packaging and i'm actually surprised at how this came i thought it was just going to be in the box from amazon but it's actually in this really nice good thick plastic bag it looks like it comes with instructions the bag has a handle on it so cute um, and it matches the bed. So this bed comes in three different colors, kind of a neutral tannish color, a black, and then this gray. Um, and it comes in different sizes. I believe this is a large and they may have a medium and a small. Um, I got a bigger one just because I wanted my dog to be comfortable. Um, Pop-Tart, even though she's little, she is long when she stretches out and I just wanted her to be comfortable when she balls up in the bed. So that is why this is so big. Um, but again, the packaging has a zipper up here. I love this. And I know some of you are thinking, why do you care? I don't know what y'all do, but with bags like this, like when you get um, sheets and stuff, bags like this, I like to save and use for other things. Like I could take this bag and put guest towels in it and put it in the guest bathroom and in the sink so it doesn't collect dust or get dirty or anything. I mean, it's a really good bag, so I'm going to use it for something else. Anyway, so uh, it looks like it comes with some instructions here. And it says, pet gear, car seat booster for the on-the-go pet. So when Pop-Tart's on the go, she can use this. So a couple features I want to talk about that are really neat is it has a pillow insert and I'll show you in a minute what it looks like but it does come out so you can take the pillow insert out if you want your pet to sit a little bit deeper inside um, of the seat you know if they're very tall you may want them to sit a little bit down deeper and then you could just put um like I would put her um, she has a blanket I would put her blanket in there for her to sit on also um, another thing that I like about this is that it fastens into the seat belt. That's the important thing. So with a regular bed, if you slam on brakes, it could very well just fly off with your dog in it onto the floor. However, this one actually fastens in with your seat belt in your car, and then that way this is not going anywhere. Um, so let's go ahead and take this out. I was going to say unbox it, but this is not a box. So let's um, unbag it. <laughs> I'm still here. Okay, let's got it. Okay. Alright. Okay, so here we go. Let me show it to you. Let's see what here. It says that it's made with sturdy foam and soft microfiber cover. 
It has tethers that can be attached to a pet's harness to keep them comfortable and secure. It's important, I think, if you're going to use the attachments, please attach them to the harness and not, um, if your dog was, you know, a regular dog collar, I would be scared it could choke her. Um, it says removable plush pillow, so it is removable, like I said. It's easily attached to car seat. And, oh, this is great, it is machine washable. So if you're interested in the size of this particular one, um, the outside is 22 in length, 17 in width, and 11 and a half inches high. So, um, oh, they make all these other things. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and it's nice and soft. But like I said, this is this is foam, so it's got a good um, stability to it. She's not going to be able to press on it, and, you know, over time I don't feel like it would break down. I think it'll be pretty sturdy for her. Um, I don't know if you can see this up try to move it into the camera a little bit so it does have these um, tethers so it actually has two of them I've seen in um, on Amazon where uh, people would have two dogs and attach one to each one or I guess you could uh, her harness has two loops on it so maybe we could attach both of them um, but anyway and it is adjustable but it looks like you could attach the harness if you don't want it to fall out or jump out while you're driving and it mentioned a pillow Okay, so I'll put this to the side. So it does have a pillow in it and it's soft. Let's see, it has a zipper because it is washable. Oh yeah, so see, you could take this out. You could change the stuffing if you wanted to put a different type of pillow in there. Um, I mean, it's nice. I like that it's machine washable. So obviously it looks good, I like it, but none of that matters. I actually have to test it so we're gonna go check out pop tart we're gonna go for a little ride in this and let's see what we think and how things go come on so we are back from the little test drive with Pop-Tart. So what did you think? So as you saw, she liked the bed, she got in it, or we put her in it. She was in it, um, we did have her, you know, clipped in, and she really enjoyed riding in it. She stood up on it, she laid in it. Then we stopped and got something to eat, and she decided she wanted to come up front with us, so she jumped out of it. Did you jump out of it? Why'd you jump out? You're not supposed to jump out of your seat. Now you can't go anywhere. This is why it's important to only attach this to a harness. Because that way when she jumped out of it, she jumped out on the seat so she didn't really go that far. But when she jumped out of it, even if she had jumped forward and had fallen down, she wouldn't have gotten choked. It would have just been on her harness. She would have been okay. Um, the other thing is she couldn't get back in it when she jumped out because she turned it over. Um, so that was interesting. Not what I was expecting, but I can't really blame the product for that because I think some of that is my particular dog and those french fries. Um, you know, you know what they do to us. They do it to her too. So she just got a little bit too excited. <laughs> um, so now let's get into the review. So now this is where I tell you whether I think you should skip, try, or buy this product. Actually, before I get into that, and this is really important, is that the whole point of this is that it actually has, you could take your seat belt and put it through the middle of this. It has a hole like this on both sides. And you actually pull your seat belt through here and then you, um, you basically click the seat belt in your car like normal. And when you do that, it holds this back. So you don't have to worry about this going flying off the seat or anything like that happening if you were to slam on brakes or anything like that. So I definitely think this is a buy and I'll just quickly tell you why. First of all, construction is fantastic. And I think you know if you have a dog, that's really important because they like to chew through stuff and tear things out. This feels pretty stable. I'm not too worried about it. I think it'll have um, a good life with us. I also like the fact, or love the fact actually, that uh, it's removable. So again, if you have dogs, you know it's great if it's removable and you can just throw it in the wash. So that's important. Um, the functionality of the seat belt, that's really very important to me. So I like that. I guess we real world tested this and it didn't fall on the floor. You know, and I didn't think the price was too bad. I love the pillow. It's removable. Just 
a lot of good stuff. I might actually recover this pillow with something cute and I don't know. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. Um, I will also put a link to this down in the comments or in the description. If you haven't already subscribed, please do and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified anytime I put out new content. And thank you for joining and thank you for watching. Bye. Did you jump out? You know, what if we were going down the road? Did you jump out of it? Don't even think about it. You will just be in the air. While you're driving down the road. Um, so, this actually is not part of this. Okay, I'm going to start over. <laughs> See what happens if you don't fasten it? You're going to fall. <laughs>